One, one step at a time. Heel drops. So simple, anyone can do them. With them, one can create an endless amount of rhythms and grooves. With tap dance, I get to be a part of the music. My instruments are these two leather shoes with pieces of metal on the bottom. I know that seems simple, but putting them on allows for so many musical possibilities. As a child, I'd stomp around for hours because I simply love making noise with my feet. I remember sitting on the couch with my mom watching videos of Shirley Temple and Bilbo Jingles Robinson tap dancing together. I wanted to do what they were doing. And I wanted to tap dance just like them. In my first few tap classes ever, I would do my super big shuffle steps and be so proud of myself for getting all three sounds in. From this young age, tap has always brought me happiness. It was then when I fell in love with the art form. As I've gotten older, my feet have become a way for me to express myself and I don't have the words to do so. These shoes are my escape. And when I put them on, nothing else seems to matter. Now, I'm a young woman with big goals and dreams. I want to continuously practice and expand my knowledge in the art of tap dance so that one day I can pass down everything I know to future generations. Tap dance has a rich history and has been greatly influenced by the tap masters of the past. Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, Eddie Brown, Gregory Hines, Baby Lawrence, and Jimmy Slatter, just a few. These are the tap dancers, along with many others, who have been a huge inspiration to me. And I aspire to someday make my mark on tap dance just like them. But until then, I'll continue to make music and express myself through my feet, one step at a time. From intricate and complex steps to simple heel drops. Let's have a great big round of applause for our dancers. We're going to end on.